Thank you. We have approval of minutes. I had just a couple minor corrections I gave to Deborah already. If there are any others, otherwise, is there a motion to ex I'll, I'll so move. Is it a second? Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 None opposed. Thank you. Citizens' comments. These are for items that are not on the agenda. If we have anyone, please come to the podium and give your name and address. I only brought two. It's okay, we'll share. Yeah. My name is Jacob Blue. I am. It's like the, at the um, microphone. Then people can hear it. They were taping this, so people at home can hear you. Perfect. Hello, my name is Jacob Blue. I am a Life Scout from Troop 460. And last Wednesday, I um, presented my Eagle Scout project to the Parks and Recreations Committee, and I got my approval, and they um, asked me to just inform all of you about what my plan is. I plan to excavate a five by eight area. Um, the location is still pending, and um, place a bike rack somewhere in town. Um, the process will take around two weeks, and I will get all of my help from my troop and my family. And I would like, if there are any, if you have any questions, I will. Do you have any idea where in town you're planning on putting it, or what do you, what's going to guide that decision? So both um, John Breeding, uh, Community Planning Administrator, we, uh, Barney and I were both actually looking at the rail yard area location mm -hmm. close to the stairs. Um, so we're, we're working through le legalities of that, uh, mm -hmm. but I think that's kind of where we're designating it. But we have started that process as well. Okay. Jacob, uh, Bill Butts, Planning Commission. This community is very, very supportive of our scout programs, okay, and have been for many years. And um, what, one of the noteworthy things is the percentage of, um, of kids in, in scouts, both Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts, that go after and are approved, you know, for either a goal panel or for, you know, what, what you're going after. Virtually all of the service clubs in town have line items to approve your projects. So be sure you go and speak to Kiwanis and Rotary and the two Lions Clubs, mm -hmm. okay? They have money in their budget for you. Yeah, that's what, that's what they have. They have money in their budget for All the right. scout project. All right, so, so and secondly, <clears throat> one of the values and one of the visions of this planning commission that's reflected in our, our master plan and is gonna be coming up in the downtown master plan is walkability and, and the ability to not only walk, but bike and, and jog and so forth in more areas throughout the community. So what you're attempting to put in place is a resource that we need in many, many locations. But I think the location you're talking about right now is a great initial location for it. Okay, Thank you're you. in the right place at the right time with the right project. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I think it's very important too, and we'll keep you informed. I don't know when you're planning to do this. Obviously, it's in the spring because we got to wait. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully, by that time, we'll have some idea a little bit about um, the downtown master plan and the different design elements because I don't want you to put it somewhere and that it has to be taken up or it's not the right, doesn't have the right design. So, we'll keep you informed um, of the different things that are happening so that that won't happen. And I did a um, Bill's comment, my son financed his entire Eagle project through all the service clubs. So it's very, make sure you get their names and attend yeah. their meetings because they will give just, you money. Just contact them and they'll yep. have you come and you can present. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Jacob, on, can, John. Oh, Go ahead, Judy. can I just say, um, as the advancement chair for my son's Eagle, um, when he was in Scouts and everything, he's an Eagle Scout as well. This is very well put together. Thank really you. Really nice display. You can tell you put a lot of time into this. Great job. Thank you on that. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and Jacob, my only question, my only question is, uh, what is your timeline? Is there a certain deadline date you have to have it done by? That's my just curiosity and planning, just to make. <laughs> Thank you. I turn Jacob. 18 in September, but okay. like with all the finalizing and stuff like that, my deadline really is like July. Okay. I'm looking on actually getting the project like started, like the actual physical project, sometime in May. Okay, early That's May. That's projected, yeah, early okay. May. Okay, I just wanted to know that so we can kind of stay uh, diligent about getting you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm meeting with my troop committee this Wednesday so they can okay. get some more stuff, and then I have to go get some more signatures from my district committee. Right. So start start date in May before the end of June, mm -hmm. you're saying? So I pointed out something to Bill yesterday morning when we had a Navy Scout project that had a cavalry group we belong to, that uh, most communities in the United States, 1% of your scouts become Eagle Scouts. Mm -hmm. We're at 16% here in Mountain. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, and it is just, it's amazing. All of the banquets that we attend or are, are invited to attend, where there's two, three, four, five, I think the most we had was six Eagle Scouts at one time. Mm -hmm. And one of those was very hushy. It was, was a big group. And I'm just amazed at the amount of Eagle Scouts in this community. The, uh, the other thing I'll build on that is, I mean, Kiwanis is all about, you know, our, our youth and our families. We do an annual scout night. We invite all of the BSA troops. We invite all of the Girl Scout troops. There are over a hundred kids and leaders wow. at that event. And it goes on for two to three hours. The, the, the quality of the projects, you know, the number of projects, how integral it is to the community, it's really, really impressive. Mm -hmm. It's great. Cal has been hosting a troop. It's great. For over 70 years. Mm -hmm. A couple other troops, yeah, throughout 1191. You don't need our vote, but I, I mean, I, I highly recommend it, mm -hmm. and I think everybody else on the yes. commission is in agreement. Yes, we thank you for this. Thank you for thank presenting, thank you for coming presenting to. that thank to us. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Do you want your presentations back? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Can, I, can I have one of them, please? Oh. Can you send one of that one back? That's, uh, He's got one. Oh, John's got one, okay. Thank you and good luck. Thank yep. Thanks, Great. Anyone else? Okay. I don't see the Carroll County Planner or Frederick County Planner. John? He was unable to make it. He's at New Windsor. Uh, okay. Okay. Right. okay. So next we have development project. We have lot 19, Twin Arch Business Park, S-18004, Server Mas Service Master Final Site Plan. John? Yeah, so this is um, file number S-18004. Uh, this is uh, Service Mac Master Incorporated, final state plan. Uh, they are proposing a uh, 14,900 14, square foot um, warehouse building that they'll be storing uh, vehicles inside of, along with uh, um, equipment to uh, rehab and uh, improve uh, existing structures that have been damaged by many different uh, Issues. It is an industrial park. Uh, the, the lot size is 1.49 acres. It is in the Twin Arch Business Park, lot 19. Um, the building is approximately 100 by 170, so a total of 17,000 square feet. Um, they'll have two floors of 2,000. 100 square foot of office space located in the northwest corner of the building. They meet all the requirements for Carroll County and the town of Mount Airy's uh, final review process. And it does meet all the public um, adequacy um, requirements. And it does uh, have a conditional approval we're asking for um, with four, rec four, um, four conditions in that recommendation of approval. Would you like me to read those, Lindy, or you want to just wait until the end? It's okay. We, we, can, we can read them. Uh, the owner and the engineer are both here. If you have any questions, read them one of them. Would you like to add anything? Oh, <laughs> we haven't seen you for a while, so <laughs> we missed you. Ron Thompson, Banmar Associates, here, and with me tonight is Brent Cross, the uh, owner 
of uh, Service Master. Uh, this project is really, what they're doing is they have warehouse space rented in Frederick and throughout, and they also have a small space in the industrial park, and they need to consolidate it to one. We look forward to your approval and being able to start the project uh, later this year. What, what size is their current space and where is it located? Is it also in the same Their current space is in the Dirt Spa building, oh, part okay. of that right now. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's a smaller space, but a lot of they okay. they actually just consolidated um, Frederick into a number of different spaces, into one warehouse space okay. temporarily in order to get this built. I mean, this, this is a serious commitment to... Uh, you know, the warehousing and operational space. Is this a, a similar design that Service Master uses elsewhere? Uh, I think so. And ba basically what it, what it amounts to is when they do their restoration services, a lot of times, whether it's a fire or flood, the materials have to come out over to their shop to be cleaned and restored, dried, and that's why they need the additional space for it plus uh, putting some of their service vans in there to restock as they go out. Do, do they, so um, treatment of materials, are they going to have a significant hazardous material? <coughs> no, and we've uh, certified the type of material cleaning with uh, water resources, Carroll County. Because okay. we are in that zone for water uh, resource. Any other questions for? It said that the traffic generation data is currently under review. Um, is any idea when that will be done, or is, is it going to be that much of a difference in, that, in consolidating their, to this one building? I think, I think we've given a peak hour trip of 15, which would be under the threshold mm -hmm. for uh, APF full consideration. So. Okay. That's actually approved. Oh, it has been approved. I apologize. That's my fault. Oh, it, has been, it is approved. Okay. John, in terms of adequate public facilities, I, I didn't see anything that, that stuck out. Is there any consideration or concern? Nope. Um, like I say, it meets all the current uh, APF service standards, mm -hmm. including traffic and road control. The Park fire company spaces. hasn't yeah. said anything yet? No. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Or are we good? Does anyone want to make a recommendation? Yeah, I'll, uh, <clears throat> I'll recommend that uh, we conditionally approve uh, this final site plan for Lot 19, Section 4 of Twin Arch Business Park for Service Master, with the but with the following four conditions. Number one, details for the railing of the loading dock need to be included with the site development plan. Number two, a signed application needs to be submitted to the town for any building mounted or freestanding sign that, that become proposed for the site. A proposed sign will need to be presented and approved by the planning commissioner or town planning staff prior to the installation of that signage. Three, all final town and county agency comments need to be addressed prior to the circulation of Mylar drawings for signature here to the town. And lastly, number four, the project requires a public works agreement <coughs> and bonding secured prior to the building of a permit being issued from county, from Carroll County permits and inspection to the town. This is fairly standard. But otherwise, yeah, very acceptable. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 None opposed. Thank you so much. Thank good you. Good, good luck on your construction. Okay, next we have under discussion the town of Mount Airy's updated standard specifications and details for construction. Engineering, it was for your approval. It was presented last time. And it's much shorter this time. I was happy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Kind of like what happened there, Bonnie? <laughs> well, yeah, I had this and then I Thank got you. this. So. so if you remember, um, you had asked for the old specs to compare to the new specs. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it was too many red lines to try to right. figure yeah. out. So these were the 1989 specs. 
Uh, oh, no wonder they were easier. Yeah, to give you something to compare to. So, so Borny, what, what was the motivation <laughs> to do an update? Fun. Is this a state well, requirement, or is it just simply Well, all, all along, there, you know, model numbers change and things like that. Yeah. So we weren't making substantial like changes to the standards other than make, bringing everything up to today's, you know, what the models of a valve are, things like that. So everything was just outdated. All right. And, and the last time this was done in the mid 80s? Well, the standards, or the standard details, we had done those um, back, I don't know, I'm going to guess 10 years ago. Um, but we did, never did the specifications. Uh, since then, we've updated a few of the details and uh, updated a lot of the specifications. So the specifications, this is the first time that I know since 1989 that they've been updated. Wow. Um, but the details were updated again, 10 years ago, I don't remember the exact okay. dates. So, Maybe so, 2010. So in terms of operational efficiency and communicating what the expectations are and so forth, mm -hmm. this just simply would bring it up to speed and current. Correct. All right, so are we voting on this addendum that was in our packet that's dated February 4th, 2019? Yeah, the, so we're hopefully um, also voting on the entire new spec okay. with the addendum. And the addendum is mostly, I believe, Tom's updates. Uh, he had reviewed basically the first uh, section, um, going over some of the standards and um, make sure we add in the um, uh, insurances that are, that are required by a contractor uh, or a developer, um, that kind of stuff. So, right, so, so this is some additional addition to that yeah. to make sure it's all together. Correct. Okay. The, more, more of the legal, more of the legalese is what that uh, Tom's edits are. And they're going to stay two separate documents. Or no, it's all, mm -mm, all, it's all one, one document, all merged right. in. Yeah, uh, but, but Tom's edits weren't in your last month's <laughs> packet, so we added that to you. Sorry. Uh, so Tom's edits weren't or were? They, they were, were not. Well, oh, right, okay, right. Got so, it. so bottom, bottom line. We got the, this packet, so right. we so, was like. <laughs> so, so bottom line, Barney, from an operational <laughs> standpoint. And uh, ease of understanding for, you know, folks who are doing business with the town. Correct. How does this benefit? What What are the advantages of? Well, one of the biggest place? things is we wanted to get everything online, so uh, which they are actually online with the new edits. We couldn't put the old edits out there because it wouldn't make sense. Um, so they are online, but technically we have to get it approved by Planning Commission and the Council per our code. Okay. So we're just asking for your blessing on uh, keeping them online. <laughs> but it makes, it makes it much easier for be able to refer, even for us to say, you know, go, go to our website, refer to this detail. Uh, this is something very similar to Scott and I have to deal with, with military specifications. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're constantly changing. Um, this is a long time that, you know, people stay like this because our stuff changes mm -hmm. seven, five or six years. You go through the whole thing and it's, you know, how a nut is supposed to fit on a bolt. And that's <laughs> it, it is. <laughs> but if, you don't, if you don't do it right, if you don't do it within a certain set of standards, you get nuts and bolts that won't match up, they won't fit. Okay. And each of them is a quarter yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah. They're the same thing, but they, they just yeah. may not fit. So this is, it just holds the industry to a set of standards right. that yeah, Barney right. understands. <laughs> okay. So, are we comfortable now with voting on this? I yeah. would be. Yes. I think yeah. so. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, what what motion do we make that, that we approve the town's updated standard specifications and details for? I think you just did. It. I Correct. Like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I made the motion. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Including addendum number one, or do we okay. have to add addendum number one? I think it would be a good idea to put that. Okay. Yeah. In. So I think it's a good idea. Modify yes. to add what Roxanne just had, please, because I can't can't repeat yeah, this again. Yeah. Okay. So it's seconded by Judy. All those in favor, say aye. 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 None opposed. Thank you. Thank you, Barney. Thank you. Okay, so now we have the Planning Commission final discussion of the downtown master plan. And the confusion was it, it's this downtown master plan. Master well, that's the implementation. So the, the confusion is that I guess the, there's a timeline that we really should be advertising. And the discussion tonight is really to determine um, 
how the final presentation should come about. Should uh, it be oh, part the, of a okay. the Design planning collection. commission meeting? Uh, should it be held here? Should it be okay. held somewhere else? These are all items that sort of came out after talking to uh, design collectives, Cecily, and figuring out what is the okay, proper so protocol. Okay, so we didn't need to go through this whole thing well, I mean, and be prepared to I, discuss I did it. not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, if you did, that's great. And it, if there's any comments, now would be the time to bring it okay, up. Okay, so that was a okay. I, I, I thought it was okay. going for next time. I thought I thought you were going to talk about the master, this thing. That's the, the implementation of the comprehensive the master plan from 2013. Uh, okay, you thought we were like I was saying. So, so, our, so what's, the, what's the current thinking and planning in terms of... Clear. That's for you to tell me of the presentation what, of the, what you want. The final report. That's what you guys that's want to us. do. You're that's right. what you're discussing, determining right, so how you want to Roxanne, proceed. I would prefer that this uh, presentation be done separately from the planning and zoning commission meeting. Yep. And yep. we can't have it here at town hall. I, I would prefer it to be at another building so that we, I would hope that a lot of people would be in attendance. Um, but is that in concert with what the council wants to do and how they feel it should be presented? Bob? I can't, I can't speak for the council because this is not something that we've discussed. Um, I personally, I don't know, Larry, we've got Larry back here too. I mean, I, I personally would, would think it would be better served to do it, you know, some other location because you're very limited in size here. Okay. And um, that being the only thing on the agenda would be the downtown master plan. Do you feel the same, Larry? Yeah. Okay, so and this is for them to present, right? The design is okay. for them to yeah. present. Okay. So as long as we could get that we could get a time. Well, yeah. well a we location and a time I need to figure yeah. out the proper the, location be yeah. the fire department auxiliary uh, right. building, okay. the library or something okay. like that. So, so so I I I would remind planning commission members we asked to set aside further progress on OPE and downtown DMZ until we had the benefit and the due diligence and the insight that could be gained from this, this downtown master plan. And, and Monica and her team did a tremendous job of putting together an RFP that addressed here are all the issues here are all the questions that we need some professional expertise you know, to help us better understand. We don't feel comfortable in proceeding with a mixed use zone until we better understand what's the scope and scale of what would be appropriate for Mount Airy. You know, forget Montgomery County, forget Howard County. This is our community. What's scope and scale? And if we're talking primarily about all the, the values and the goals that are reflected in the original master plan that in turn are reflected in the, the downtown master plan R RFP, how do you approach what will revitalize downtown, what will preserve the character and personality of the downtown, but also add to and complement okay, what we're trying to accomplish here? And certainly putting through Center Street is part of it. So the importance of this is just absolutely critical. I'm not sure that we get enough exposure, we get enough involvement. We're a commuter-based community, okay? And, and time is more valuable than anything else, you know, for our residents. And so therefore, I think there's some advantage in it being a separate presentation. It would be a separate event from a regular planning commission meeting, and we'd be sure to have it in a venue, you know, that could accommodate a larger audience. So yeah, I guess I guess if if based on what you just said, is we need to figure out what's the best night of the week for the most people who well, can attend. From, this from what I'm gathering from what Bill just said, it sounds like he would prefer Thank to you. have it on a Saturday. Because if you're trying to get commuter-based citizens, a Friday night's not going to be it. So Saturday. But I also have to check with the fire department to find out availability of their building. Um, and we also have to advertise it into the Messenger, Carroll County Times, and uh, Frederick Post at least three weeks in advance. 
Um, so we're getting in a fine line between um, when we're going to be able to do this. So hopefully if I can talk, reach out to the auxiliary tomorrow to find out availability so we can possibly get something scheduled uh, at the end of um, March before our planning commission meeting possibly so that you guys can make a recommendation to the town council possibly um, that maybe we could even go to the April um, council meeting for approval so and adoption. John, a lot of times our, those kind of meetings are actually in the evening, so I, don't, I, I wouldn't limit it to just a Saturday. Yeah. I think yeah. a lot of times it could be a seven to nine kind of thing yeah. during the weeknight as yeah. well. Okay. okay. Just well, off that's right fine. That. It might make it a little bit easier than trying to find just a Saturday. Okay. So. So I just want to also make sure that um, you guys know and the citizens know that it's not time for changes this right, is no, really done. presentation no. this is yep. final presentation all the discussion has yep. been yep. finalized yep. Mm -hmm. so oh. unless you have something right now you need me to convey to her no. Roxanne go ahead and jump in I the just the only other possible location is the the health pavilion the well yeah that's what I think they, they have a community that, that, and we've had we've had presentations there and that's mm -hmm. very nice as yeah. well yeah, um, I'll yield and say if we find that the 25th is the best day for that presentation to be is it's not going to be an all night presentation if there's not a lot on our agenda after that is done could we have a quick planning meeting after that but we're not going to be able to discuss this to, to send it to the council in April yeah, but the 25th is going to be the I mean we're going to have the, the Vols property the yeah, Vosler property is coming the, back on the 25th? Okay. The, pla so the planning commission there. meeting for March is building. Okay. Um, then that, that answers that question. That's why I was saying, suggesting possibly the 22nd, possibly, or I can Before get it advertised uh, to find out availability. Um, and again, I mean, that just expedites things a little bit, you know, so that instead of having another 30 days between presentation and your approval yeah. to. Yeah, yeah, I understand but that. We'll that would be our best scenario. Well, I wouldn't the, do it all. The 22nd, Friday the 22nd, or yeah. something for a presentation. I don't know how we can get. So, that's what I'm saying. It might. Bill, jump in. Okay, so, so I'm wondering, John, in your opinion, um, <laughs> as our staff planner, do we, do we need, would it be appropriate for us to have some additional planning commission discussion of, of this final report before you know, the public presentation? That is part of what today's meeting is right. also. So we, yeah, we're going to discuss it now, right? right. There's Good. something after, to discuss. Did you mean after their presentation to us? That's what I prepared for. Okay. okay. Well, I'll, I'll just start off here. Um, what are we going to this? Okay, so are we going to give him any dates, possible dates, or you're just going to check on the dates, John? Oh, I thought he was just checking on dates. I'm going to check on availability of the two different right. sites you've but mentioned. Availability is going to be a limiter. Yeah. Right. Sure. Especially if you're going for the activities bill. Okay. What up? Oh. Carl, you have to Can come we just, to You've got no. It doesn't matter. This is uh, public. We, 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 we really don't need that right now. Carl, Monday, 2002, Philbrook Lane. If you're planning on a Saturday, make sure it's nighttime or evening because a lot of sports are beginning, the spring sports schedules are beginning yeah. to pick up. Sorry. Most games and no. practices are, no, are mornings and afternoons. So you've got to start taking Thanks, that Carl. into consideration too. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I think a Monday so, through Thursday. Right. I mean, I um, like you guys, but Saturday night, I mean, I've right done right it on now. my birthday. I've done it all the time. Oh, no. Saturday <laughs> night, come on. <laughs> You're saying Monday through Thursday, Roxanne? Is that what you're saying? I, I think well, so. I would agree with oh, that if yeah. possible. Oh, okay. If okay. possible. Right. Okay. <coughs> yes, so, um, And I would just verify, with, you know, with, uh, with the calendar or something that there aren't other commissions meeting. Oh, yeah. You know, well, they might want to come to this, too. That's on the well, yes. website. I mean, yes. But. It's good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Have that done before next meeting. So looking at the, like, okay, so there's a lot here, but just in terms of the implementation on the like sections four and five, so the, mm -hmm. and the implementation, I thought, I mean, it kind of jumped out at me. Some of the things that we've been talking about for years before probably any of us have even been on this commission, such as opening Center Street, they have in the five to 20 year, what the page very you end. I'm sorry. Oh, that, sorry, that's page 90. Um, and again, this is just like going off what, what's here, but 
Um, and, and considering that that the Center Street is connecting to the, you know, the Beck property and stuff. Um, they have it in the zero I, to five. No, they don't. Yeah, it says here, short-term projects to be completed within zero to five years. Center Street is number 14, Long, well, I long-term projects. It's on page 90. Okay, number three oh, I'm short looking term. at the improvements. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 I know that was wrong. Yeah, I looked at that first. But I, I guess, and you know, and I think this is something we're not going to be able to just like figure out, but it's going to be partly the council and us and other commissions about, you know, and, and obviously they've done this partly for their own understanding of what's the most practical and, and the money thing. But when I look at this, I mean, they do have the flat iron building kind of early on, but a lot of these things, it's all, like my feeling is you have to do, like give, give us and give the residents at least something solid within that first five years. I mean, a lot of this is really, you know, okay, so, yeah, the zoning stuff would need to be done. That's really not that, you know, and these en enhancements with signs and, and lamps, and it's like, well, that's nice, but that, that is, you know, if, if we run out of money or steam or interest, then nothing's actually really changed. And so I think there has to be at least some, like, some priority um, within that five-year period that's a little bit more substantive than I, what's here. I, I, I totally agree. I think how do we, how does the town get the most bang for the buck? Yeah. And clearly the emphasis is on our downtown zone. We want to preserve that. But if we don't put through Center Street, it's a can that's been kicked down the road for 40 years, okay, then none of the rest of it happens. The message that keeps coming through is we don't have enough scale in our downtown area. It's too small. You don't have enough retail. You've got the wrong kind of, of imbalance of office versus retail versus civic, so forth and so on. You don't have enough traffic. You don't have enough ease of access to the downtown. It is absolutely critical that, that Center Street is put through right up front at the same time you're doing these other initiatives and you're rebranding yourself and so forth. It all works together. So I, I totally agree um, that, that if, if we don't advance that, Quite honestly, we're doing things downtown that are not going to be noticed. They're not going to be accessed by a larger population. Uh, you've got the better part of 25,000 car trips a day out on 27. And they, and they have to go down to South Main Street or they have to come in from North Main Street at Harrison Lashier to get so down there. The only thing that I, I agree, I mean, I think that we do need um, Center Street, we need to have something big. The only reason that I'm thinking that there, the thought process might be there to kind of delay some of this is the money. So where, where do you get the money to do all this? So five years, there's some, show, some initiative, there's some process of thinking things through and showing some ideas, but it's gonna take five years. You're talking about some major costs to extend well, center street yeah, to yeah. go ahead so well, well and, and it's our discussion with council too it's like do they actually want to do but this? what about mde and epa like, do and we all we actually those kind of regulations do those are not you don't snap yeah. your fingers i mean th yeah. th this has got to be dollarized well sure yeah. and so i think so my, uh, without hearing from them my gut tells me these are doable things that you can do with a, a reasonable budget um that kind of gets some of the energy started that would be my I, having not spoken to them, mm -hmm. but then the second part is the more expensive things, tearing, you know, they recommended taking down the flat iron building. Actually, that's in the first that's five years. First that is the one yeah. big yeah. Yeah. that is in the first five years. Yeah, so that is actually. Um, but, but doing center street I, I, and that kind of I stuff. I think the thing that confuses me, though, is, that, is they have number four, which is in the first five years, is rerouting Park Avenue to Cross Street. That's all part of the flat iron and so, building. That's and part okay, of right, down. right. But then you have to open. Don't you have to open Center Street because no. you're closing Park Avenue? Oh, you're not closing Park Avenue no. yet. Yes. You're just okay. Make it the okay. One-way thing. Okay. Bob, so that was. Right. You know. Bob, you have, you have well, something to add, Bob? No. Yes, and I just want everybody to realize that when you talk about Center Street, okay, if you're closing Park Avenue or Park Road or whatever, it is, 
Seven. Yeah. Um, and there was a the, the fire company went through a detailed uh -huh. um, process to determine how they mm -hmm. get from Center Street over right. Park Avenue right. to get into oh, yeah. get yeah. into Wildwood Park. Yeah, they have to um, so a lot of these things yeah. you have to do before yeah. you can open yeah. Center Street. Yeah. So well, just, we have to be careful about that too, is yeah. making sure that we're not trying to do something that we can't do until we do something else. And also, isn't there some private land that we'd have to do some eminent domain kind of stuff with to get yeah. through Center Street? So there's no, not well, the, I mean, no. well, it's the back property. Through that. Back. Well, there's also Most of it's back, there's other pro properties, there's other properties, too, properties that would play there. that are in play. But again, yeah. this is just a road map. I mean, if 14, 15, and 16 happen within five years, that's okay. Right. This is just more of a, a, a broad spectrum of what we should try to attempt. It doesn't have to occur step by step. It doesn't have to do one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I think the, I mean, we can the move, most I important thing is everybody meet and we find out what, what council is willing to pay for right. and what yeah. we're going to, and, when, and if not, what money we're going to get from someone else, some the developer or whatever. And what the other commissions, you what? know, the, especially like Streets and Roads and EDC, and um, yeah, I mean, I, I look at this. I look at this as a. Well, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I mean, they have some, but not many. Not many. Look, I view look. this as a final product, so that they say, if you if you want this, here's here's the steps to get here. Now, you, however you want to, you know, whatever the priority is or the chronology of that is is up to the town and the budget, right. but. To get collectively, this is what it could look like. So, you know, if you want it all, then you can you can look at the pictures, and that's what it'll look like. <laughs> you know, well, if, you, if you want to just do some of it, then it's not going to look like the yeah, pictures. But, yeah. I mean, Center Street, I don't care if it's 15, 37, or one. It's, I mean, that's. I think there's no person in this room that doesn't think that that's the linchpin of that entire plan. Mm -hmm. Might be one person. Mm -hmm. One person, yep. <laughs> but I mean, I, I, I yeah, I, I mean, it's. I look at it as a collection of ideas, and it's the town's, uh, it's, it's the town's goal, uh, job to figure out what order to put them in. Well, maybe I could. I didn't mean to interrupt, but maybe I could talk to uh, Cecily at Design Collective, and maybe we make a, a midterm window, which is three to seven years or something mm -hmm. that sort of falls in between there, and move th 14, 15, and 16. To that. Well, and I think it's probably Next. just, oh, I'm sorry, um, no, no, just no, no, no. important. We need some kind of rough numbers next to this because none of this, the order could be completely thrown out depending on the cost. And right. so if Center Street is the linchpin and all, all numbers, one through whatever else we decide, oh, we can afford this or we can afford this and do 10 things or we do all Center Street or, you know, mm -hmm. so I think we need numbers, okay. rough numbers. Right. I, I mean, right. really like, just really rough numbers. Well, and the only thing I was gonna say is remember the council is looking for a recommendation from you all about the, the, the process and the order that we do things in. So you know, that's going to have to be part of the scope of what gets discussed here and then probably at your meeting over there so that you can provide us with what you consider to be the and most important projects. And they want this by projects. April? They want this by <laughs> April? Yes, ma'am. There's well, no way that we can get to all the commissions and do that by mm -hmm. April. My question is, 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 so we do if we do this meeting, you know, with Design the Collective, and then, do they do another meeting at, at town count, a presentation at town council? Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. That's mm -mm. the one we're trying to schedule sometime That's in it. March. No. It's okay, so they don't. Okay. It's, not, I just, it's not redone. Okay. And, unless the unless town council requests that, and then I'm sure for an additional fee, Design Collective would come in and give yeah. another presentation because <laughs> they, they're basically they they fulfilled their mm -hmm. Contract, commitment. Right. So I guess my thought is that this plan is just like our master plan is going to guide the whole downtown and what mm -hmm. we're doing so mm -hmm. to be so quick as to we just got this last month Excuse me. none of the other commissions have looked at this i think it needs a little bit more time to like and i'm not one i like to move things along but i, I just feel like this is something mm -hmm. that needs a lot more input than just mm -hmm. us a public mm -hmm. meeting and then the town council says yeah. yay go or no yeah. go i just yeah. think there's too many it's not fair to the other to, commissions so, um, John, do you have other commissions gotten copies of this, or is that? The only people that got copies are us. Yeah. Carl. 
Okay. 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 So anyway, and is it is it on the website? Planning? No, it is not on the website. Okay. Planning commission. I mean, what's on the website was the what was it? The charade, Arb. which yeah. has not changed that much. Okay. The only thing that's not part of it is the implementation schedule, but the only people that have gotten is town council and planning commission members right. and staff. Well, if as Bob says, we are actually supposed to provide guidance and recommendations then we do need to be discussing this in detail and just determining which order we think it should be in regardless yeah. of money. Yep. Yep. And I think that other commissions, I mean, I think of EDC and Streets and Roads especially and, you know, whoever mm -hmm. else. Parks, even. Who might, yeah. Who I'm may hearing not be getting interested pushed in. back another six well, months, well, maybe, which is maybe, fine. No, which but is maybe fine. they can come to yeah. our, Certainly. we should see if, we should at least invite them to come to this presentation. I mean, we can't, Schedule it around right. them. But the presentation. Yeah. Barney's, Barney's next. First. Like, okay. I mean, they, gotta, they have to present this work. We, I mean, we can talk yeah. about yeah, it. Yeah, right. But I mean, them yeah. coming, why other why commissions, making sure that other commissions are aware of this. Barney, why should wait, we wait, present wait. something when it's potentially getting changed by all these other commissions? And no, not to change it, just so no, that they, they know about know, it. And but they, like, Barney, j jump in. Yeah. So a couple things. One, uh, costs. I don't think Design Collective was tasked with yeah, even costs for these, pro right. these projects. We have some ideas, but I mean, until you get into them, sometimes, you know, those costs could really change. Um, but uh, these were put together um, with some of our input as far as what should go first and, and stuff. Something like putting Center Street through, I mean, you have an owner there, you have a developer there. Um, there's a lot of coordination of what's going to happen there. You know, it might not happen the first five years, but we think it might, it could potentially be one of the, you know, the next couple things, but it could move up. It could be, it could be sooner. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, I don't know if it really matters if it's yeah. in this category, this category so much. Well, uh, it's just, here's, here are all the things that are, you know, you're trying to implement and, and you try to move forward with the important ones. And, and sometimes it does depend, come down to costs. Um, the, other, the other thing is, um, I know Larry wants me to point out, that uh, <laughs> we do have some things that we're already trying to budget for. Uh, for instance, this year, we already have money in the budget to improve walkability in downtown. So we're trying to work on okay. South, uh, South Main Street up to Caldwell Drive to Hood Street and put sidewalks around the poles, move all the mailboxes <laughs> into cluster boxes in the grass area, and that would really you know, help out that area on both sides of the street. And then we'll work on the existing sidewalks <laughs> up to oh, North Main Street. North Main. Now, okay. whether we could keep going, that was in the budget a couple years ago, and it oh, got removed. Got but, yeah. but, but that that could come back. Okay. So, um, but see, all these things change, and, and so um, so we're trying to work towards those. But again, sometimes budget does put some constraints, and maybe you have to put it out because of budget. So um, some of this is um, I'll go. some of this is similar to the presentation a couple of years ago, with rerouting park through through the parking lot. Oh yeah, like that. Fa phase yeah. one of yeah. the flat yeah. yeah. right? Yeah. So was Correct. that was there money ever budgeted for that, or that was? We actually have it in the preliminary budget right now for this upcoming year, uh, for the Center Street at Main Street end. Um, and doing some of the parking lot changes. But again, it depends on what the council wants to move right. forward with. And this, and, but this one, it would be Park Avenue going across Veterans Way, not across the entire parking lot, right? No, I guess, I like no, I, Street. It, it'll be it'll be widening Center Street to provide an extra right, lane right, right. Down. But and, when, but, but when, also um, improving probably Cross Street between. Center Street that, Park that Avenue. Whole parking lot gets refigured. What I meant, so according to this, um, Park Avenue will stop it eventually. Will stop at Veterans Way. You know when they when it gets blocked off. Right. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And but it's it's is it still proposed to go across the parking lot like it was before, or is it just through Veterans Way? No, definitely Veterans. not Veterans Way. We, it's we don't want to send traffic. So it's cross street. That's too small. Okay. Street. Cross street. So it's just cross street, but it's right. not going to. It's just going to yeah. go on cross street how it is, or is it going to change it? No, we, we recommended improvements to it. Um, again, okay. I know there was some talk about it. Yeah, some people didn't like it, but um, 
Okay. And it's a matter of whether we close Park Avenue now, which is recommended in this veterans way. It was also recommended by architect back back then. Um, you know, if you close it completely, then you want to send everything to Cross Street. And as long as you make the improvements at Main Street on Center, that can handle that Park Avenue traffic. But once you put Center Street through, you're really going to need the next step, which probably a light out at 27 or mm -hmm. something. Yeah. Does this mean, like, if anything gets approved, so, like, say it's in the budget and everything else to do that first phase of the Flatiron building, does that plan come to us for final approval, like around where the streets are going? If any of does any of this, if we say yes, we agree to this plan, mm -hmm. we recommend it. But as things move on, do we get to to relook at every phase as it happens, or does it? We said yay, and so whatever <laughs> happens, it's we, just up to. That's an important project for the downtown. I, we would definitely bring it to you. We'd bring it to the okay. council. Yep, for sure. Roxanne, you would jump in? I'm sorry. Um, that's okay. Um, so I was kind of, that's thanks, Barney. Some of this stuff is going to be going on at the same time, like the pre-preparations for Center Street and what we need to do and, and everything. And But as far as the commission's knowing and everything, I do agree. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm hoping that there will be at least one commission member from each commission at the presentation. Um, and then I, and then... Hopefully they could give us feedback and we can discuss it then in April and then give a recommendation to the um, council, April, May. But this is also, remember, we, we put this out for them to help us with the downtown master plan. So this is actually the beginning of the master plan that we need to put together. So if we put it in there and we vote on it, then it's there. So it will essentially, it'll come to us. It'll be from us to them. Here's... Here's what's happening. So, this is a I mean, this is, yeah, this is, so, but this is all the beginning of the master but the, plan. But, but what they've given us right now, I mean, it's just really to let, to let the other commissions know about it because it really is nothing. Right. But, but I'm sure that they will um, do their due diligence and read about it. I don't, I don't want to go much past May, no. giving it to the council. I think that's time enough. I really do. I mean, because we, there are people, the gentleman that owns um, where the, the cancer center, when my mom was going there and he learned I was on the commission, and at that point in time, which was three years ago, he said, we've been told for seven years that Center Street is going to be coming through. There are business people that are a little bit frustrated, and, and we, we're trying to give them answers now. We're trying to kind of help help the pro help it along. I don't know. I don't want it to be, you know, fast forwarded by any stretch of the imagination. But I think that we really need to be mindful of putting that so far down the down the track that it gets lost again. Oh, I don't want to do that. I just think about the time that went into the master plan and how many people involved. And this is. As thick as the master plan, um, and a lot more detail. And yeah, I just, I just don't want to rush through it. And I think that if it's May or if it's June, I just think one of the things that I appreciate about this commission is that I can sit and think of my own thoughts when I read this. But when I start to hear other people's mm -hmm. opinions, yeah. it mm -hmm. kind of makes mm -hmm. you, oh, I thought about it differently. So I just think it's worth us taking some time after hearing the presentation for us to really go through and talk about it. So. Chair, I'm, I'm going around and, and making contact now as a reminder to the other commissions that we're halfway through this master plan update cycle. And so the, the, the partnership that we entered into creating the master plan with and to follow through with implementation, you know, we m remind ourselves, so where are you? You know, in terms of your, your goals and your vision and, and your part in this thing. It would be relatively easy, since this is being introduced and a final presentation is being made, to add this to that consideration. And for the, the various commissions who would have a perspective on this, because it is integral mm -hmm. to implementation of the master plan, for them right. to also be mm -hmm. looking at that right. and to come back with feedback and say, okay, how does this change? what you're already thinking about 
in terms of implementing your responsibilities for the, you know, the right. 2013 master plan. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that, I think right. that's the way that's just to add that into it. That's why the presentation is important to yeah. get early because yeah. people need to start integrating these thoughts into their into their meetings. Mm -hmm. I mean, we if we're not doing this, what are we doing? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I mean, everybody should be working on it. Well, yeah. something that we've done many many times is, is restart. The conversation over and over with you know, two or three years in between. Yeah. Yep. It's come to the point where we have the conversation, we make up our right. minds what we're going to do. And just do it. And let's right. do it. And if somebody wasn't able to get to the meeting, I'm sorry. Right. I agree. They'll find yeah. out when yeah, Center Street's we've paved. A, we've reached <laughs> a point, particularly on this master plan and downtown master plan, where we need to implement some of this stuff. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. When you make a left on Center Street, either you'll that know. or most of us <laughs> won't get a chance to see it. We will be planted long before. The town start to give you part of that that tree scape or something. Well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, so so the biggest thing is John's got to find a place and a time. Right. Exactly. Yeah. That's the biggest thing. It all starts with that. Poor John. It's okay. Okay, so we're, we're, we all agree though, whenever he can find the appropriate place that's big enough. <coughs> yes. And whatever evening Monday we we're, were saying Monday to Thursday. So do you think if we just forwarded the implementation schedule to the other agent, other uh, groups would be adequate, or do you think they should see the whole plan? Yeah, the whole plan. I like to, I would be fair to them see the whole plan. I, mean, I can my... probably email then a copy. Uh, prior to the, prior to the event? Yes. Yep. Um, I don't know, is that necessary? I don't know, that's what I'm asking I for mean, your advice. because I thought the presentation would be kind of the, the introduction to yeah, the. Yeah, but are there going to gonna be copies of this there for people who don't have it? Why don't you just append it to the, the website, website. to the town? website yeah you tell me what you want I I mean I would think, <laughs> I think you could put send it, it to website. people upload it to the website yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. and tell them and then send an email telling yeah. everybody so you, so you want this on the website currently well, the, it, prior I mean, to the presentation draft. yeah why yeah. not yeah. I mean it's a draft Absolutely. just make sure it's just clear that, that it's a draft okay. just think, saying it's a draft I mean what are your concerns John so yeah worried. well what? it's not approved um, so if there's implementation issues or other issues that are going to be brought out that should have brought it, been brought out the, the charrette possibly. I'm just concerned that we're just going to prolong the final approval of it. So, I mean, you just, so wait, like Bill the, says, you keep kicking the can. So, oh, so well, you think people I mean, make? Just, but the presentation no. wouldn't be the final, wouldn't be the approval either, right? Right. So it's not. So if we do the presentation, people are going to want to. It's the copy final it. presentation. So right. Well, that's so is an it, opportunity for people to ask questions and get some. Right, answers. but it's not going to change it just because no, somebody no, marks no, something. No, it's, it's done. So the thing is, it would. I mean, is that considered it to be an? An approved plan that being no. presented no. once you right. once you ratify it. So, so it's the same idea. So Let's put it on the website. Right. So it, so if there's nothing that occurs yeah. at that presentation that makes it more official than today, then maybe we could distribute it we as can, a draft. You, you don't know what you're going to hear. Um, and, and I remember coming back after we presented the master plan. And your next Roxanne. Talk about this just weekend after we had the 2013 master plan. And had a public hearing up at the at the Activity what do they call building. the conference center now, mm -hmm. and Jennifer Smith sat here, and she said, "Are we supposed to pay attention to what the, the citizens told us last week on this?" <laughs> and everybody, it got real quiet in the room, just like it did right there. <laughs> Absolutely, that is what this meeting is about, and you know somebody may have a great idea well, that, that you true. can't. That's keep true. out of this, yeah. but for all practical purposes, it's it's, an it's a presentation, and, and we're yeah. going on with it because we have to go with this. Yeah. I mean, it's an information session. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. My What's my two favorite words: disclose and dis and disclose and disclaim. <laughs> <laughs> disclose that this is a draft, and you know, and that it's not. Uh, it's and it's say it's not a dis it's yeah. this is not a approval this is a public meeting it's not the public hearing for the downtown master plan because we haven't even begun this is just step one it's an informational yep. gathering. right that's just what the for informational purposes only <laughs> okay yeah. ma'am do you want to hi i'm susan harvison i live on chessie court and i'm on the streets and roads commission and i'm i'm feeling really positive tonight because finally and i'm calling you the cloak and dagger committee really in my in a lot of my opinions but that's my opinion you are finally opening up the idea of addressing this with other committees. And you can't drop it on us when we have a Streets and Roads Committee or a Streets and Roads Planning Meeting coming up. We can't discuss your master plan. You can't 
throw this down to anyone or any citizen or taxpayer or committee member that quickly. Okay, we need to discuss this. My only thing about this presentation, not everybody's going to be there. Not everybody's going to know about it. Nobody knew some of the zoning variant signs that have been put out through Mount Airy. It, it's we're, we're, you're, so you are blocking off the people who really make this community. So you need as much input as you possibly can. If this presentation can be videotaped or put on some kind of way that others who can't attend the meeting because they're one apparent to their business owner or they go to work in another county, they need to be able to have like a what we're viewing wherever we're going to view it and hear the presentation. It needs to be given in any avenue. If it's a notice in the Mount Airy Messenger or it's put on the town website or you put a sign up, this is what we're going to be doing because we just did a so, uh, sign zoning or sign thing just a few minutes ago. We need to let our residents know. We don't need to know afterwards that this is happening. So I am pushing that I know you have your agendas, but it's us who make the community. It's just not the people in this room right now. And I'm standing up in front of you for a, probably 9,000 other people who I don't even know that aren't here. And please don't ask me to step down, sir. Please don't, because I'm, I'm trying to address to you. I mean, I am being civil, but has this committee been civil to the town members all along? There may be people who are thinking contrary to that. Why don't you attend the Tuesday Streets and Roads Committee, where something that this committee approved that we're to. still fighting, or we're trying to get rec you know, to a to a positive agreement. So we need to let everybody know. Don't cram it down anybody's throat because these documents may be, you know, ABCs to you, but there are probably a lot of people who don't understand a lot of this, and they don't want to know until after the fact. Thank you. I appreciate your comments. Thank you. Okay, so John, how would we notify people besides the messenger and town website? Uh, town right. website. It would probably be a notification on the website, um, Facebook, then messenger, Carroll County. And Can then one of those blast emails to all the commission members. Yep. I mean, it'll go out to you know on the website we have you know notify me. So it'll go into that. Okay. Um, uh, I mean, we can do a mass mailing to everybody that's in the corporate limits, but that's that's a lot of money. No, no, no. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I, the council won't approve that. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. work. Well, I think a blast email to all the commission members, and then they're, they're saying to everyone they know. Yep. Question: When's the next water bill come out? Oh, wow. put it I think on the it just did. Oh. Yeah, it just, just did. did. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah I, saw, I, like, I like your point of being on the Well, we could bill. put it at the bottom of the water bill. Yep. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's, that's the only way. I mean, I, short of doing everything that we do all the time, I, I don't know how else we can People have uh, to get it out. Right. They have, have to, to know because there are, there are places yes. that is publicized and there are places. Right. And well, I think people, the other thing know, is that everybody, it, commission members, everybody, tell your neighbor, tell the people that you, you know, you don't, who don't look at the Gazette or don't go online, because God knows a lot of people don't. Just let every, you know, t tell your, tell the butcher, the baker, the chocolate maker, or whatever. <laughs> so let me just ask this then: if if we have a, a presentation, and is there going to be a public hearing then on this plan? No, no. And we right, just do that presentation. Before the council adopts it. Well, this, I, I would think at that point you've got to have a public. Yeah. I was just going to say, so yeah. at I think some we, point. We'll make a recommendation, and then it goes to they have a public hearing. Though. And they'd have a public hearing. Well, that was my yeah, question. Because well, that was, we'd make a recommendation. They did on the master plan. Council. I mean, this is not codified. This isn't a master plan. No, this is just it's not a, codified. We'd ask the consultants to yeah. please consult a, a, a project mm -hmm. yeah. for them to do so that we could go to our master plan. I don't think yeah. we ever envisioned what they gave us was going to be right. part and parcel. It would be part of the master. Some of it will be part of the master plan, 
but it's not going to be the master plan. I guess it's up to the town council if they decide to have it. I mean, they can have it if have one if they want. We've asked you know, if they're not required. Part to. of all of this for I mean the charrettes the whole week we've asked the community to be part all along the way, and then at the very end yeah. to say, oh, we're just going to show it to you, and then we're just going to decide. I, I mean, um, I. I, I I don't know what the process is, but it seems like it's a significant enough of a plan that you would want a public hearing if here's, I were town. Here's what we, here's where the goals that they set. Identify short, middle, and long, it's in, on page, page nine of the, but I'll read it for the public. Identify short, middle, long-term public investment priorities for the next 10 years. Consider the future development of town center in order to attract and increase commercial development and revitalize downtown. Work collaboratively with the downtown, with the town of Mount Airy Planning Commission and community members. That was their goals for this project. Right, and now it's up to us to take it. And if we're going to adopt it, I think we need. It's a guide. It says it's mm -hmm. the downtown. Uh, this plan, that what they're calling the downtown master plan, provides a guide for continued evolution of the study area and creates a vision. And it's like an overlay or it's, a, yeah, a, a, it's a, not, a, a uh, supplemental uh, master plan <clears throat> for just the downtown master plan area, DTZ. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not sure what we would be adopting. I mean, it's a collection of ideas as to... Then what have we been waiting on that everyone's so anxious for us to get this through <laughs> well, there, if there's not some kind of formal adoption of something? Because I'm hearing you say, town's waiting, town's waiting. We need, you know, we need to do something. Seven years I've been a town council member. We've been talking about that flat iron building for eight. So if this is the idea <laughs> that's a good record, Bob. And every, every year <laughs> somebody comes to us, downtown, downtown businesses represented by a building owner, come to us and say, gosh, we weren't part of that conversation. We've been having the conversation at EDC, Planning Commission, Town Council meeting for the last eight years. Okay, I would like to, before I die, I would like to do something. Well, the, are we willing to say that this is the downtown master plan? So that's what I thought we were looking at as adopting. Okay, all right, so, so I'm, I'm gonna take us back to what precipitated our request to go forward with this project, okay? We, we said, along with what we submitted as the 2013 updated town master plan, in terms of detail for what constituted two different rezonings and land use designations, OPE and MXD, mm -hmm. we said, we don't have time and we don't want to hold up any longer. It's been four years. That's long enough. Okay. We, we feel like these two additional zones are warranted now. We need them, but we haven't finalized them yet. So we're going to give you everything else, Council, in terms of this master plan. And we did. And we outlined what would be, you know, the scope and the scale and the intent of those two zones. And they said, okay, that makes sense. We're at a point when we may be doing each of these, and we need to have more understanding of it. And you're, in, you're responsible for laying out what that land use looks like. Okay, that zoning looks like. Then we said, the more we looked at Center Street and the Beck properties and so forth, we said, it's one thing to look at MXD in Montgomery County or Howard County or somewhere else. That's not the scope and scale of what may be appropriate in Mount Airy. We need to do our homework. We're responsible to do that, okay? And that was the beginning of saying, we need to have a separate due diligence that's assisted by professional expertise, okay? And so Monica and her team put together a really, really dynamic RFP that, that said, here are all the remaining issues. Okay, part of it is, is Main Street issues, okay, and, and usage there and how narrow it is and utility poles in the middle of the sidewalks. And part of it is what in the heck are we going to do after 50 years of kicking the can down the road in terms of the Flatiron Building? And what about Park Avenue and the fact that 
Center Street's not put through and it doesn't connect easily with Prospect and all the other things. We have a postage stamp downtown. How do we revitalize it? How we keep it alive when folks can't get to it? Okay, especially the 25,000 car trips a day out on 27 or the 63,000 a day on 70. They don't know about it. Okay, how do you revive all of that? And we said, we need some additional insight. We don't know that. It's not within our experience of purview. <clears throat> That's why we did this. So I think first and foremost, we've got to do our homework. So what are they saying? And what insight does this give us? And what else do we need to know? And how do we reach out and share this with the other commissions and the council and the public? Okay, what's the appropriate process that we take? So are you saying this is a research tool that we can go back and use? Or are we saying this is the, uh, something that we're going to send to the council for adoption? Because I'm hearing council needs to approve it. I'm saying and we I'm, still haven't done our homework. Well, do, I, I do was we saying understand? that a while ago, but I, <laughs> so I just, I, I agree with you. I think that, so, but I'm, then I'm hearing this isn't the plan that this is just a tool that we can go back that we're not adopting this. So I'm just trying to get clarity. Are we adopting Let's this? go with, okay, we have it, we're not ready yet, so what are we gonna do then? What are, right. the, what are the four steps, the three things that we need to do? Right. Mm -hmm. Well, now that we, we have consider, this tool. We need to understand what they're saying and does that make sense or not? Let's share it. Maybe we share that with other commissions. Well, if you're, if you're we'll definitely share it with if other you're seeking, commissions. If, if you're gonna present this to the public, then it would beg the question, are you seeking, a, acceptance and input, which would mean that you could use this as a framework for the concept of the downtown, and then you're adding to it what the public may contribute in its addition. So right. I guess that's why I said I'm not sure we, we're approving it. I'm, we're, these are the details of what to get to an end state of what our downtown could look right, like. Right, and consider that I mean, the public has you know, had input. Wait, 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 I mean, it's all, I don't, and stuff. right, I mean, that's why, that's why we were taking input. So, um, <clears throat> I mean, the master plan, the, 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 you know, town master plan has been approved and uh, accepted. I'm not sure that this is a competing document. I think it's complimentary. Yeah. yeah. But, right, right. yeah. In, I think it's living too. I think things change. I don't believe that we have to do to go in any order of, you know, I mean, cost will dictate what we can and can't do. But there is a thing called concurrent projects. I mean, it's a, it's a fascinating thing. You can do more than one thing at, uh, you know, at once. It's, so I, I look at this as just a, a, grand, a grand proposal of ideas and concepts. And it's our job to take those good ideas and, and implement them. And there could be more ideas. There, you know, I, I mean, mm. there are people that love and hate what they've seen in this rail yard here. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, I'd love to hear what people think about that. Mm -hmm. I okay. heard what people thought about it during the charrettes. I know what I think about it. I, I don't know. I mean, it's it's not good or bad. I, there's things I like about. It. There's things I don't. I don't know. But we need to. We should hear what they say, and we should go forward. We're not asking, hey, do you like this? No, you don't like this? Oh, no, now we gotta throw this document away. <coughs> this is a, we got time, man. We got time to okay. implement this. So let's bite them in little pieces and, and do the projects and do the ones that we can do and the ones we can afford and the ones that make sense. I, I don't know, I, I'm not sure what we would be accepting because I think it's constantly going to change. Let, and once you lock it in stone. <laughs> I was gonna let Larry, uh, he seems to have. Oh. Yeah, the podium currently. I think I think where Judy's trying to go with this is how it officially ends up, you know, a, a document that the uh, town council is recognizing and that the town's working towards. So my understanding, Bob can verify this as I say it, is that this document will be blessed by y'all, approved by the council, and become an attachment to the master plan. Yeah, that's correct. Once it becomes Thank an you. attachment to Thank the master you. plan, you're dealing with the master plan similar to the way that we have built uh, you know, for the last several years with, with that flow chart that we've been all looking at, trying to get it implemented. Will we do it all? Maybe, maybe not. 
probably not. <laughs> okay, but ultimately the council is going to approve this document to be attached to the master plan. So that's where you're going. Okay. Okay. Thanks for the Church. clarification. Okay, Leslie's next, and then then <laughs> Carl. Fine. So, um, so. Despite what Larry just said, I, I felt like when, when Bill was talking and then when everyone was talking that we actually answered our question and that's because um, the master plan, people can use and come in here and show it to us and say, because of what's in this document, you should approve my rezoning or my mm -hmm. development or my whatever. Now, I'm actually not sure that we want to give that kind of power to this document. No. And if we attach it to the master plan and make it an addendum or part of the master plan, uh, then it has a little bit more power than we might want to give it. Good point. And it won't be what Scott was describing and what um, Judy was describing in terms of what we can do and what we can't do. So, But I just figured that out. Obviously, I right. didn't know like 10 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Carl, you want to jump in and then uh, Roxanne, if you have anything yeah, to add? Yeah, two things. Um, mm -hmm. Carl Munger again, 2002, Philbrook Lane. Listen to all this meetings and plannings and everything. I think just let Design Collective make the final presentation. That way it clears the books. There, are, It's off the books. Design Collective can move, move on and then just let the town discuss what they're going to do, what do with it if you want to hold it, other meetings. But it's a... As the mayor has recently said a couple times, it's a, it is a vision, not a plan, for what needs to come and what the town can end up as. I agree with what Scott was saying about con concurrent projects and everything else. <clears throat> Costs will dictate a lot of it because a couple of the proposals joined the, sh joined the charrette, like Santa Street, the rail yard, town owns none of, none of that. So cost will dictate a lot of it. So just let's just hold the meeting, Design Collective, hold the presentation to the town whenever, March, April, and move on from there and go from there. Because as people say, we can always come back to this. We can always say, hey, the town has decided to start implementing the design of the rail, of the rail yard. Design Collective did this wonderful thing. Do you have anything else to add to it? Because if you keep opening and closing this plan, the hundred and some thousand dollars we spent on it is worthless. We'll be back to square, square one at the first meeting when people are allowed to comment on it. So let's just present it to the town, say this is what we've paid for, this is what we've come up with, and go from there. And, and Roxanne's thing on the comment on the water bills, I don't think they've been mailed out yet for the current quarter, because it's quarter based, so it'll be the end of March, wouldn't it? Exactly. Well, that's, we yeah, paid. see, the yeah, we just paid. That's why we want to try to get this by the end of March. So that's, not, I mean, it's. Okay, well, when you said that when it went, went out, I thought that you, like, no. just went out. No, okay. no, no, no. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> Obviously, I don't pay the bills in our house. <laughs> I don't, I mean, I just see it coming. He says, pay the bill. I, I, I do okay. file, I file okay. the bills, but. <laughs> Is that clear? Is that clear I, I to you? No, it's not clear. I'd st I'm still at the place that I think we spent a lot of money on this to be more than just a tool to kind of research and go back to. I feel like that a lot of money was spent. This is our ideas. We spend the same amount of time, or maybe not the same amount of time, but uh, a significant amount of time looking at it, just like we did the master plan. We get public feedback. It may not be approved in May or June, but it goes to the 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 council for final approval to say we every every plan is a working document so I mean the master plan has things that come and go are we going to do everything in exactly this order no it's not going to happen this way and we might not put it in that same time frame or we might just say these are the collective things that but this is the vision of what we're going for these are all the different steps and we agreed that this is where we're going to go so we're not sitting here saying should we take down the flat iron building or should we not because that whole discussion will continue to come back if we get this in final feedback we're done this is where we're going and we're not having that discussion again i just think that it's worth taking some time now to get the sit the well, set in place for the yeah. long term and it's a working document that you're going to play with and it might change when we update the master plan in five years right well, oh, i don't want to think about that and, <laughs> and, and building on that realistically i mean the fiscal year starts in july okay we're on top of that i mean town staff is 
is well down the road in terms of you know what they're proposing and what's being considered, you know, for 1919 or 2019, 2020. Yep. Okay. So you're absolutely right. The time we need to take to look at this vis-a-vis -vis, you know the larger master plan and what 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 insight is gained here and what makes sense and and get feedback. Yeah, that's that doesn't need to be rushed. No. I mean, I think we're going to move well. forward. You've got things in the budget already yeah. that's moving down this path one way or another. It's, it's moving in the direction. Uh, I, I, yeah. when, when, when is the downtown master plan supposed to be completed? I mean, I... The design collective gives its final... Okay, so that's what we're going to say. So, uh, so, this is it. Uh, so we're saying, okay. I think they've done their part yeah, after the, the presentation. Yeah. This is the report. Well, we can modify it if we want. We can change it. Well, back to what Bill had pointed out. I do remember, and maybe Scott was, you might have been an alternate back then, is that we said we need help. Yep. And mm -hmm. that's why we, we yep. did the whole RFP selection and mm -hmm. process. Yep. We said, you know, yes. help. And, that the, and with this help, we can then go forward. Yeah. You know, none of, the, none of these projects are done in a vacuum. I mean, as soon as we start one of the projects, the town's going to be right up there at the microphone telling you everything you need to know about oh, it. Yes, <laughs> so indeed. we, I don't think that anything, I don't, I don't think you're missing anything by, mm. by trying, I don't think you're gaining anything by locking it in, honestly. I, I don't know. It, it, it just doesn't, I, I, I mean, I understand Larry's point with the, with at least putting a, a snapshot in time as to what our goals are. But to me, it doesn't lose value if it's, if it's not done that way. Um, I don't know if it restricts you or binds you to, you know, you know oh, there's, a, you know, there's a, a zigzag pathway from Conchetta's down. Like, I, I mean, I don't know if people are going to say, I saw it in a picture and that's what I want. I mean, it's not going to look like that in the end. No. You know, and so all these things are going to be different. Yeah, that's that's not exactly what I was talking about. Well, you know, bigger, bigger, bigger picture. But I think if the council wants to adopt this, it should be as a framework rather than every. Oh, every right. right. Okay. Yes, and then we'll, yes. we'll say a framework, yeah. not not the not, not as letter. a master plan, right. but no, as a framework. I agree. Yep. Yeah, I yes. agree on that one. That's, yes, and, that and I totally agree detail. with you in terms of like decisions being made, like of the flat earth building. Yeah, right. So some decisions just they have been made. In here. Right. I mean, I just think these are the details of what's in the master well, some plan. Some are details, I mean, and some are got are clear mm -hmm. decisions. I mean, you can find yeah. Center Street in the master plan. This just shows you how the trees are going to lay. Yes, Lenny, you can probably can't see John, but he will. Well, no, I was just going to say, um, I mean, we have had steering committee meetings also, which is part of all the different members, of different, each That's member true. from different councils right. in these meetings. We right. just had one, 11-8-18. Uh, mm -hmm. So, I mean, the other agencies or other groups have been involved. Yeah, you're right. So, so I mean, I'm basically not, to a point right now where yeah. it's like, I, I'm going to try to see if I can find a venue. I'm going to see if CMC can possibly broadcast it live. Mm -hmm. um, see yeah. if it'll be okay if we post it to the website. Um, uh, you know, mm -hmm. as a draft only, um, and that's kind of where I'm at right now. And Perfect. 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 Good. Yeah, and then if if it's CMC does it live and it can be seen, you know, different times, then let's say we'll entertain public comments up until yada yada, and then if anybody wasn't there and wants to say something, they they mm -hmm. can send an email or comment to the comment to John. Okay. Well, how do we? We're so, okay, so I know we're killing this, but how do we address a public comment? Well, I mean, what if? What if, I mean, how do we incorporate if somebody has a grand idea about something? Do we go back to Design Collective and say? Yeah. No, 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 right? No, right. Done, that. Done, done. So what do we do that's, with those? Well, that's, that's for, some of that, like any public comment that we have. Right. So it might so influence how this yeah. looks in the end. Um, maybe there's. Um, uh, I think we take it into consideration just because they say it doesn't mean that it goes in here. But if it's a great uh, but idea. Just, but if it's a great idea or something mm -hmm. that we just nobody thought about, um, okay. we can go back and then do that. But, but I, won't, won't that happen in every approved project when the budgets, when the money's moved to execute a project? Won't it be, won't we have a public event? Just like the, 
I guess it's just yeah, me, just well. like the master plan, um, we still have people coming in and talking about rezoning and everything else, even though we have in the master plan what we kind of yeah. guided and everything else. So there yeah. is still a public input throughout the, the even after the plan's been approved, it kind of just gives it a little bit more weight when we can say we've already talked about this in yeah. this and we've had public forums. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that you can't change your mind. It doesn't mean that you can't look at things differently. I just think it gives you a little mm -hmm. bit more foundation. I and mean, we've thought a little bit more about what everything should look like as we move forward. So when people do come in, we're sitting back going, that really doesn't fit into the big picture that we had talked about, or it does. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, that's good. So it's not like, thank you for sharing, but yes, we are actually going to listen to them. Too. Yeah. yeah, okay. Absolutely. And there, are, there have fair. been some good ideas, and, and, and developers have changed their minds and yeah. ideas of, of things over the past, over the years, when the public has made a comment. So it doesn't go, it doesn't fall on deaf ears okay. by any stretch. No. Okay, so John, you've got your homework. Good luck. Okay. Do it again? No. <laughs> no, no, I got it. Pull off a miracle. <laughs> we'll try. Okay, so that's coming up then. Uh, future items. The sign ordinance workshop possible dates in March. Do you, Deborah, do you have anything for us? Are you still? I think I, everyone comment. March 12th might be the best one to meet everybody. I don't think Scott can make it. I don't think you were available. Uh, I, I, would, I just had a preference to the, that's a Tuesday? Yeah. Yeah. That was when you could do it. I, don't, I, I didn't care, so I, just I, I, I couldn't make it, but that's okay. I'm, I mean, I'm out of town the 7th and 8th. All right. Tuesday, okay, so March 12th. Tuesday, March 12th. Okay, great. And, and then from 7 to guys want to go to 930? Is this to kill this thing? <laughs> How long yeah. it takes. Let's, let's get it done. Yeah, I want to get it done. I, I'm tired of the pile. Scott? I mean, sorry, John? 7 to 930? Yeah. yeah. On the 12th. 7 to whenever. Well, can anyone do it earlier? No. I can. No. No. Oh. No. Okay, cause. All right. So. Okay, 7 to 9.30, and if it comes at 9.30 and we still have our brains and our wits and we see you close about getting it, we'll push forward, okay? We just want to kill this, finally. And I think I think we beat, beat the next one kind of to death. the pulp. Yeah, uh, we got that. <laughs> um, to death. And the discussion for the rezoning case, uh, that had been, uh, postcards have been sent out. We'll be advertising this coming week. Uh, or in this 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 week uh, in the post messenger and um, the times, so that that will be uh, shown as a case coming up for request for rezoning. Is that going to be during our, our regular meeting, or is that going to be a public hearing separate? Mm, it was regular, planned for the normal meeting. Regular, regular meeting, and that's also you going to put the signs out too. Yeah, but I'll be posting the pro property again as well. Okay, um, Bill. Okay, so so this this situation. I think has, has several issues involved in it. Um, I think the first, and you know, I think, Leslie, I think you brought this up maybe last time, is the first issue is the ability of the PC to consider can we make, do we want to set the precedent of making a rezoning consideration in between actual master plan updates? You know, up to now we've been doing it virtually every eight to ten well, years. Well, if they followed, it, okay. they, had to, they have to follow the precise procedure, right. and I haven't so, looked at that yet, but I certainly will be so, 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 so that's a question that, you know, needs to be maybe looked at, and maybe we ask Tom about that. Um, secondly, this particular parcel, I mean, it's a split parcel situation. Okay, the YWA Development Company only bought part of yeah, the boss law parcel. Okay, so so that's an issue. The third issue is when we dealt with rezoning community commercial and so forth, we put some buffer zone right. in and around it. Right. Okay, that potentially could occur because this is going to be a split parcel, but that becomes <laughs> another consideration. It's okay. hard to tell because the the thing that they sent us afterwards that you emailed out to us and it showed. All right, here's the parcel, and here's, I don't know, whatever. But on that, it didn't show there's a group of houses mm -hmm. that are right behind it. And I don't, I'm not mm -hmm. talking about the townhouses, but there's mm -hmm. a oh, group yeah, of houses a, yeah. on South yeah. Main Street. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look at that photograph, they're mm -hmm. not there. So you can't tell. And so when they come back, or maybe even 
what, what day is it? No, never mind. <laughs> Maybe before that. We we need to be able to look at that map and also pull Google Maps and see, you know, where are these properties? Because yeah. I don't even know if it can be zoned, if you can have a strip of neighborhood professional in there. Well, you I'm, know, between I'm, I'm that not sure and where either. Houses I, are. I mean, so, I, so I, I, also I, just, yeah. I also noticed on so Design Collective's map work. that the actual demarcation of the Carroll County line is, is not accurate. Oh, really? No, it, it's not accurate in terms of that whole, you know, southern, right. you know, border. Yeah, there's a lot of discrepancies for that yeah. parcel. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, so some clarity on that will be, I've reached out to the attorney for them as well, because the SDAT shows the parcel as one configuration. Their meets and bounds description so is a different configuration. So there's some discrepancies in determining exactly where the uh, Route 27 right of way is in relationship to the property because the property itself, in Estat's eyes, looks like it's been already separated by the right of way of 27, where their information they submitted with their request doesn't show that. So there's some discrepancies there. There's some other discrepancies. Um, so again, maybe it won't be on. Okay. That planning commission date. I mean, I mean. Uh, yeah, good job, on Roxanne. I I think that their request is actually the third thing on the on the list that we that really needs to happen because they're asking for they're asking for just part of this to be rezoned. No, they're asking for all of it. Yeah, exactly. The whole thing. Yeah, the whole yeah, the okay. whole piece. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're, and then they're saying of that whole piece, saying, this whole part, part is going to be but a, right. So, so the whole piece. Yeah. But yeah. then, but that. Th that can't but be, yeah. but they're not buying all of it. But they want all of it rezoned that way. Yeah, I no. think the, the, the I understand. Okay, I see operation. what you're saying, but yeah. we don't have that buffer. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. So that has to be a different zone. So there's a lot of there's a lot of the land stuff that in buying, there. The land that they're not buying is not the buffer piece between the houses and the Wawa. I believe that that buffer piece is closer out to 70, not closer to well, the... There's just a lot of stuff. There's a lot, okay. There's, there's just, just a lot, lot of stuff. stuff. A lot of questions. And back to Bill's perspective, and you know, yeah. you have to make that decision that do you even want to allow it to occur during a non-master plan? Mm -hmm. Well, well, it's not, it's not just we make a decision, we have to look at the criteria. Right. Mm -hmm. And right. If, if they, that's what he was doing with his presentation, he was trying to convince us that they met the criteria. Right which is not likely, but I would look at it more closely before right. I actually state that. So if they, if they met the criteria, then, For change then they met the change, criteria. Change right. your mistake, you're saying? Um, you're talking about the change yeah, your mistake? Yeah, if they actually met the criteria, then we, then we go to step two and consider the proposal. But right. if they did not meet the criteria, then we don't have to go to step two. Right. So, so I that, guess I'll look at that That's sooner. really up to you guys to determine yeah. are they meeting I'll, the criteria. I'll look at it. I'll look at it sooner than later. But if you know, I'll look at it anyway. But I mean, if you know that, if you talk to me and you know it's not going to be in March, you can let us know so we can spend our time well, focusing no, on something else. I'll <laughs> right. reach out to their attorney yeah. uh, on Wednesday. Yeah. yeah I'm sorry, um, I, I, if I'm correct, the way the process is going to work is we will make a recommendation to the town council. The town council holds the public hearing. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so that's, yeah. That's mm -hmm. kind of the way it goes. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We just have to get our ducks in a row. Right. And they're not even there yet. Um, okay, next planning commission meeting is March 25th. A couple of things that I want to, we hadn't forgotten about that, but didn't kind of make this agenda is we, we still have, you know, goals for next year. And we still, that, it, sorry, just didn't make the agenda. And on one of those goals for next year for sure are we want to talk, add the rules and procedures. Uh, we, you know, again, it hasn't been forgotten. It's just that this came out quickly on you know, Friday and, <clears throat> you know, I just was so in a hurry to get it out to you guys and get the packets out that completely, you know, forgot that. So I don't want you to forget that. So I guess the thing is also for homework, if everyone would come with goals for next year, I mean, you know, it's in March and we've already got three months in, but that would be good. You mean for this year then? Yeah, for goals for this year. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Goals for this year, which was <laughs> last year. So goals for 2019, any thoughts? And, you know, I've just thrown out a couple, but it would be good to have an input from everybody. Okay. Okay, anything else? And that's you guys out there too, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. It's the, almost for you too. The other thing I would share with you, and I sent you. It looks it, like a church. M MPCA is, is stepping up in a lot of ways this year. In addition to 
the annual conference that they have in the fall, they're adding two workshops. The first one uh, is coming up, it's going to be in Hagerstown at the end of March. And it's going to reprise the uh, several of the most popular presentation from last year's conference. And I think besides Roxanne and I, I don't, I don't know that any of the rest of you. I went. Oh, you, Leslie went. Leslie went. I'm John. Yep. Thank you. And, uh, and, and, and there was a lot of positive feedback to it. The, the idea of MPCA is trying to move forward because the feedback they've gotten from, from the local planning commission teams is that they want more understanding of what are the best planning practices you know, at the local level, okay? You know, what, what are people finding out? So we don't feel like we're lost and we're out here by ourselves. Um, so we're, we're sharing that. And we're also giving the opportunity through workshops and conferences, you know, where we've got larger municipalities or folks who've been on planning commissions longer or they're also on APA and all the rest. Um, if they've got additional experience and insight, they're sharing that, okay? There's a new resource called Planner's Web. That's just really amazing, and I gave you a link to that. Yeah, yeah. You identify a local planning commission topic, and my gosh, they've got tremendous information and content on that from folks that have been doing this for years and years and years all over the country. Plannersweb.com. It's a link that's on the MPCA website, which in turn is on the MDP website. So go to MDP first and, and you'll find it. And when you get those emails from um, Maryland Department of Planning, that, that's part of that too, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. And and Because I did stop forwarding them out because I get them. I they're we all stepping got them. that up. They're going to start doing almost a monthly kind of thing. It'll be an MPCA corner. And so it'll be insights. It'll be topics. It'll be, you know, what's going on where. And, and there'll be some recognition opportunities that we're trying to put in place too. Who's got experience with this? Who needs help with that? Let's get the two of them together, that sort of thing. Okay. Yeah, so that'll be going on too this year. I think it's the 29th. A couple of tidbits here. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Got a couple of tidbits here. Okay, uh -huh. tidbit away. We've been asked by the mayor to give him two names for the Growth and Development Task Force. He's He's putting together a task force because we're going to start working on the master plan for whenever it is. I, I lose what date this is. 2023 or whatever. Yeah, 2023. <laughs> but um, Pat feels that there ought to be some kind of a survey out there every, every time we do one of those so that we start off with the public input yeah. instead yeah. of throw it on at the back end. It's worked out very well. So yeah. if we could... He would like to have, by the council meeting, he would like for me to give him two names that you guys selected. Um, some of the people, well, see, I was thinking of Doc. Um, <laughs> you want to do that, Doc? I'm going to tell you to. <laughs> just, just anybody in town. Anybody yeah, this, it doesn't okay. have to be members of this commission. Okay. It can be. Or anybody in just anybody in town that we think and is. they want this for the March, March meet, meeting, March or council April. meeting or April, um, March March oh. council mm -hmm. meeting. So, so that will be next, so that's next, next, next week. week. <laughs> so just to be clear, you call it the Growth and Development Task Force, but you're talking about people who are going to work on the town survey yeah. to Correct. reach out and get feedback right. from folks to see, uh, okay. you know, okay. have Thanks. goals changed, have priorities changed. In terms of what we want to incorporate in our planning for the jump up and down, aren't you excited? Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, uh -huh. so we have Doc, to have. So Doc is one of them. Mark, you right. are you interested in the growth and development task force? Hey, wait, aren't we the ones who are supposed to? <laughs> yeah, but I'm just <laughs> coming, I'm just <laughs> coming up with some names. Right. Thought about it. All right. So, what's your other uh, tidbit? Um, <laughs> we have we have elections <laughs> in May. Um, Peter Help, myself, and Jason Poirier's seats oh, are okay. up for election. Mm -hmm. um, we're actually, I've, I've been surprised, but we're working towards a, a compromise on um, voting liaisons. Um, it's, mm -hmm. it's taken a while, so we're, we're trying to get something that's 5-0. and 0. 
we, we keep ending up with three to two, three to two, three to two. So Larry and I are working real hard on getting something that's, that's five to nothing, which will work out very well. What is that? I'm sorry, what are you referring to? He's talking to? about liaison. Liaison, voting liaison, 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 liaison commissions. Voting liaisons in the commissions. Um, let's see. Um, EDC has started a vacant buildings mm -hmm. committee. Um, we're going to go forward with this, and there'll be a, there'll be a time, and it's probably going to be early May, where we're going to say for two hours you have the bank building open down here and you're, you have almost like a reception. You've invited all of these people that are interested in real estate in Mount Area and all that kind of stuff. And so we have different areas. I think they've, they've located five or six different geographic areas in the town. Um, That's a great idea. Working, working mm -hmm. real hard on getting something done with that. That's good. Um, and this coming Saturday night at 6 o'clock, there's an art opening here. We'll have we'll have music, um, music art opening, and there'll probably be um, you know beer and wine and or light refreshments. I think is what they call it. Um, please come. These the last one we did was fantastic. Six to eight, six to eight Let's on see. the second of March. Um, uh, my wife is doing this with the, the mayor has actually recruited her to start doing this. And you can see we've got some very interesting, very interesting paintings that they're half hung out here. And they're working on this real hard. So stop by. This is, this is something that... Public art. Public art. Yeah, and and we consider it economic development because you're trying to bring people into the town mm -hmm. at a time when they're not normally coming in here. Cool. So stop by and see that. And that's all I have. Um, you too, right? <laughs> okay. So next on the agenda of election of officers. So I'd like to have nominations for chair. Anyone want to make nominations for chair? I'll nominate Wendy. Again. Bill? I nominate Roxanne. Okay. So all those in favor of Lindy, raise your hand. All those in favor of Roxanne, raise your hand. Are you voting? Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Well, it's something that we've been doing. We've been told by the council and the the um, town attorney that we're going to do what we do until we change it. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I am voting. All right. Well. Okay. Then Roxanne's chair. And even Larry, I just wanted to point out to you that is a, that's the place where the liaison vote breaks the tie. Breaks the tie. Yeah. <laughs> I would think in this, well anyway, I think that that should have been something that we discussed first, but anyway. Okay, Roxanne's chair. All nominations for vice chair. I'll nominate Bill Butts. I'm going to nominate Leslie. All those in favor of Bill Butts as vice chair. All those in favor of Leslie as vice chair. Okay, congratulations. You're going to have nice long meetings. <laughs> I don't think so. We'll go get more done. Okay, is there a, a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. Okay, second by second. Okay, thank you and good evening. <laughs>